Hello, in this session, we'll see corollary one of Euler's theorem. We'll see the formula and its proof. So, let's say we have a homogeneous function u of degree n and let's say in variable x and y. Then x square times of second derivative of u with respect to x plus 2 times of xy second derivative of u with respect to x and y and plus y square times of second derivative of u with respect to y can be given as n times of n minus 1 times of y. So this is the corollary 1. Now we will try to see the proof on this and it says now that we already know by Euler's theorem which we have already seen that x times of du by dx plus y times of du by dy is given as n times of u. So let us differentiate partially again with respect to x and then y also. So let us let us say this is equation 1. So partial derivative of equation 1 with respect to x again. So this will give for the first time we can see there are two terms of x so we'll use the product rule here and this will be differentiating x we will have 1 times of du by dx plus differentiating du by dx with respect to x we will have x times of d2u by dx square. Also the next term we will have from here y will be treated as a constant so in that case we will have y times of d2u by dx dy equal to n times of the partial derivative of u with respect to x. Now we can take this term on the other side and write this as x times of d2u by dx square plus y times of d2u by dx dy equal to n minus 1 times of du over dx. Let us take it as equation 2. Again partial derivative of 1 with respect to y this time. So we will have x that can be treated as constant so x d2u x d2u by dy dx plus again using the product rule we will have 1 times of du by dy plus keeping y as it is and differentiating the second term we will have d2u by dy square dy square equal to n times of du over dy. Again we can take this term on the other side and this will become x d2u by dy dx plus y times of d2u by dy square equal to n minus 1 times of du over dy. Let us take it as equation number now finding x times of second equation plus y times of third equation. We will have x times of checking the second equation that is x d2u by dx square plus y d2u dx dy plus y times of plus y times of x d2u by dy dx plus y d2u by 
dy square which will be equal to on the right side x times of n minus 1 du over dx plus y times of n minus 1 du over dy. So this is x square d2u by dx square plus xy d2u by dx dy plus xy d2u by dy dx plus y square d2u by dy square equal to n minus 1 times of x du over dx plus y du over dy. So, since d2u by dx dy is same as d2u by dy dx, this part and this part will be same. And this gives x square d2u by dx square plus 2 times of xy d2u by dx dy plus y square times of d2u by dy square and on the right side we will have n minus 1 times of n times of u. So this is what we were looking for and this is the final result as equal to n times of n minus 1 times of u. So hence we have proved corollary 1 of Euler's theorem here. Thank you.